another video about knee pads. What's so big about it? Got something new in the market. Achilles self-adjusting knee pads. We're going to talk about these. The tool pouch that actually mounts to the knee pads, and I think this is pretty cool. And we're going to compare them to some other kinds. What's good, what's bad, what's for what purpose, and what's for not for that purpose. Coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop. What I'm going to talk about today is another kind of knee pad. And right off, I will need to tell you that Achilles supplied these for me to test and review, which I have done some testing on, and I'm going to do a review on it. However, these reviews are my experience, my opinion. They are not paying me to say anything great about it or anything, but I will add something else to a viewer that is a subscriber will get a free set of these knee pads in the package along with the tool belt and I will draw a number at random or I should say a name at random from the comment section on January 31st and whoever gets picked at random will get a set of these but once again you have to be a subscriber Okay, that said, let's get on with these. So, what's the big deal about these? Self-adjusting, that's good. Uh, my biggest thing with knee pads is when they bunch up behind your knee, in the bend of your leg, you know, where your jeans bunch up. So, we're going to talk about a couple different kinds here before I get into these here. And I actually have a pair on right now. I've been crawling around in them today. So, let's start out with your really basic knee pad kind of comes like this and I, I've oh they even stick together got it stuck to another one here that wasn't part of the plan there we go these here very expensive foam um, not real durable if you're doing roofing although they are somewhat non-slip it's not something you'd want to wear if you're doing some roofing for a whole lot because you'll just wear through them uh, Velcro goes around your leg. Uh, problem with this type, your jeans, I wear jeans, will bunch up in the back between these two Velcro straps. And if you're on your knees for a long period of time, it gets very, very uncomfortable. The other problem is, as you're up and walking around and stuff, they, they do this. They, they shift, then you're constantly pulling them back and getting them back on your knee where they need to be. So that's type one. Another type, and once again, I've kind of gone through these before with a, what I'm going to get to here next. Another type has a hard rubber face to it, a gel insert. They're comfortable. They are, well, I can't say they're okay for roofing because even though this is a, kind of a serrated rough rubber and they do slide on shingles. I, I've tried to wear these on shingles and it, it's not real good. If you're doing concrete work and crawling around in gravel and such, these are ideal because they, this hard plastic surface will keep the gravel from digging into your knee. Disadvantage in gravel is these little creases in here. It's kind of like the tread on your car tires. Little pieces of rock will stick in there. Well then if you get on a finished surface you're going to scratch it, so something to think about. They also will shift if you're up and down. They, they tend to fall down a lot and you're constantly pulling them up. Okay, the last thing I did a review on were these here. They're called Tough Belt. And as you can see, these are all muddy. If you're going to be crawling around in the mud, this is ideal because this plastic here will keep your knees dry. These are uh, not self-adjusting. However, once you get them adjusted, there are clips you clip around and they're easy on and off. They do not slide around too much. They will shift a little bit and they do tend to sag down a little and you may have to pull them up once in a while unless you have them really, really tight. However, it still makes your pants bunch up in the back and the crease of the back of your leg. That can get uncomfortable after a period of time. So, you may notice behind me I normally have a lot of my power tools sitting here. 
Hey, to clear them out so I could do a little bit of a demonstration of what I have on. So we'll get on to that. Okay, originally I wanted to do this outside, but the weather is absolute crap, and I don't want to go out there. It's cold. So this is how they fit. Uh, I have seen where in some other reviews where some people actually put this strap inside their shoe and then, or their boot and then put their boot back on. And I have tennis shoes on today. I don't have boots on. Normally when I'm, if I'm doing construction work, I have boots on. I have a heel. And this here would fit in, your, in that space between the heel and the sole of the boot right down in there like so. If you're wearing flat shoes like this, I suppose it could be a problem where they may, it may slip, but so far in playing with these today, I haven't had any of that kind of problem. Uh, the top of it hooks on your belt, like so. And there's different places you could hook it. There's also a tool belt that mounts to this, which is kind of handy. You could have a uh, tool in there or a set of tools. So if you are down on your knees working, so let's say you're down here working on your knees and you're uh, maybe you're doing trim out in a house and doing the electrical trim out. I say that because I'm a retired electrician. I used to have to do a lot of that, crawling around on my knees, which you shouldn't do if you don't have knee pads on. But back in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s, when I was doing a whole lot of that kind of stuff, you know, I was young. I was invincible. The old guys, like I am now, would say, get off your knees. Sit on a bucket, get, put some knee pads on. I'm the old man, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, guess what? They did know what they were talking about because my knees are now in not so good a shape. They're still usable, but not as good as they used to be. Let's put it that way. This little tool bag on here would be handy. You could have different types of tools in, you know, in the pockets here. You could, uh, you know, if you're doing receptacles, outlets, you could have a whole bunch of them stocked in here and you could just crawl around from place to place. Away you go. The uh, nice part about these is they don't shift. And you don't have that bunching up in the back of your legs. And that used to just drive me nuts with other knee pads when you're down like this for a long time. And a lot of us electricians would say, you're getting what's called the measles, not measles, but measles, because your knees get sore and the stuff bunches up in the back and it's just, it's miserable. So this kind of eliminates that problem altogether. Uh, I have done a lot of crawling around on these. I, I, obviously they're not really made for crawling around in the mud. I don't know how waterproof they'd be. That's not what I would use them for. But for crawling around on, perhaps on a finished floor, you don't have to worry about scarring up the surface. These are nice and soft. So let's say you're putting a laminate down, uh, which I did do a lot of here recently. And this slides fairly easily on a laminate floor. I, I did try that out on some tile. Now, how well would they work on a roof? Well, it's 18 degrees out. I'm not going to go climb up on a roof and find out. However, it looks like they would grip pretty well. I don't think they would slide on shingles very well. I think, you know, if you're a roofer, I, I think that might be a good thing. The other thing I like about these is when you stand up, they stay in place. If they should get kicked off to the side like that, or if you're going up and down a ladder, you're definitely going to want to do this because knee pads, when they are here, and you're climbing up a ladder, this will catch you on a ladder rung every time. Uh, you know, if you're doing roofing and you're going up and down ladders, you're definitely going to want to just pull them off to the side as you go up. And that's kind of hard to do with the, uh, the tough built ones because of the way they're made. They're, it almost looks like a prosthetic, but they have their own purpose. Every type of knee pad has its own purpose. Nothing's universal. If they should slide over to the side like that, and you want to get them straightened out again, just straighten out your leg. Or kick back and do this, and then we'll, right away, go back where they're supposed to be. How well they would wear on the bottom? If you're walking around with regular boots on and not tennis shoes like I have on here, this would be up in that arch, and it would be pretty much protected. 
if you're walking around in a lot of mud and gravel and stuff, I think I may opt for the option of having these inside the boot. But otherwise, having them on the outside works just fine. And there I just had one slide over, but there again, kick your foot up. You can also adjust these wider. You know, you don't have to have them right next to each other like I do right now. And the wider they are, you can, it will also give you a little bit of a position. So let's say you want this one to get more over to one side. You move this clip over, and I would move this clip over here farther. Keeps it right in the center. This is also adjustable in height. Uh, this is adjustable down here. This is adjustable up here so you can get it exactly where you need. I, I'm fairly tall. I've got pretty long legs. So I've got it set so that the top of this is just at the top of my knee. So when I do bend down, my knee is on the gel right here. I don't have them height clear up here. I have it set so that the bend of my knee meets the top of the knee pad. And these absolutely work out ideal. Uh, I've got a project coming up at the renovation house where I'm going to be doing some work in the basement and cr doing some crawling around and I will definitely be wearing these for that because I will need to have some tools handy. So there's a review and a little bit of a demonstration on these uh, Achilles knee pads and the accompanying tool belt. They are available on Amazon also from their website. And according to this, as seen on TV, although I haven't seen that on TV, they do have a website. It's called uh, selfadjustingkneepads.com. They do have a nice gel insert. And like I said, I haven't used them for hundreds of hours, but I, I have done some uh, trim out work, some baseboard work, but not where I could shoot video. Uh, it was while we were do working at the renovation house with the basement waterproofing and shooting video wasn't an option there. However, they, they do work well. Get a knee up on it right here. They stay put. Uh, one of the reviews I saw, because I did look into this when I was offered to review these, somebody talked about, well, it pulls my pants down. Wear a belt. I mean, geez, not that hard. I got a belt on. I haven't had any problem with uh, pulling my pants down uh, and I don't exactly have much in the back end here to hold pants up so I have to wear a belt anyway. So that's kind of a lame thing there about pulling your pants down. Like I said, you just wear a belt. Uh, had a co saw one complaint about, well, I have it inside my boot and then it holds my pant leg out and rocks and stuff get inside my boot. Well, if you got boots with heels, you can wear the strap on the outside. It's, you know, haven't had weeks and weeks of experience with these, but what I have uh, had with them so far has been positive. And I do like the addition of that little tool belt. So that said, once again, leave something in the comment section. And like I say, you must be a subscriber. And at the end of January, I'm going to pick one at random, and I will send you a brand new set of knee pads and the tool pouch. If you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger. We're in the shop. Knee pads. Comparison. What I like, what I don't like, and how well these work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.